Hey everybody, this is Terry with West Tennessee K9. I just wanted to put up a quick video uh, about aggression rehab. You know, I put up a lot of pictures with dogs coming in with muzzles and things like that. Um, and I always say, you know, this dog is trying to kill me or eat my face or something like that. Uh, but I'm never really able to capture it on video because I'm so focused on the dog and not getting bit. And, uh, you know, I don't have anybody to, to film the stuff for me. Um, so you see the muzzle and then you picture the muzzle and you start seeing videos after that. Well, I had a uh, case the other day that I worked that uh, I was able to get some video of. It's a small dog, um, so you know it's not gonna jump up and uh, get me in the face or muzzle punch me and knock me down or something like that. Uh, so you're able to see what it looks like when a dog comes in that's aggressive. Uh, you know, even though this is a little dog, this dog has done some pretty uh, serious harm to uh, the his owners as well as uh, another uh, animal in the house. Uh, so it's just still pretty serious, you know. Uh, when I get these dogs, a lot of the times I'm the last stop before, you know, they're put down. And that's just the, the truth of it. The dogs are probably going to die if if, uh, if we don't fix them. Um, you know, most of them have had more than one bite to their name. Um, so it, it's, it's serious. Uh, but here's a little video. Just check it out and uh, let me know what you think. He barks. He does, you know, and he knows what that collar's about. But darn if that my uh, grandson, granddaughter's boyfriend come in, and he knows him, he barked at him, he yelped, and he barked again. <laughs> there was, and he yelped again. I'm like, really? All right, so what you don't see in the video is the corrections. Uh, I had to turn the camera off and, and to deliver the corrections. Uh, I can't video and, and get the timing of the corrections right. And I'm just using a leash and prong collar when the dog goes to bite me, I'm giving a, a good hard correction with a firm no. Now, what you don't want to do is stop there. So the dog tries to bite you, you give a correction. It has to go further. Uh, you know, it's impossible for me to, on a quick little video, go over all the steps of aggression rehab. It's quite a process. Um, but it has to do with correction and also changing the dog's state of mind. So. Uh, the video we're going into next is to the end of the session and you see the dog kind of has a change of, of, of mind the muzzles off uh, I'm walking the dog and I keep presenting my foot uh, to see if he'll bite my foot this dog's really reactive to feet and the hands and dogs normally go for feet um, and little dogs like to go for hands too uh, so you'll notice when I put my foot up to the end of the video the dog will kind of turn away I'm creating avoidance um, so uh, point I want to drive home is it's not just about the correction correcting the behavior but you have to start to work on the dog state of mind and that's an entirely other video so started, I put a lot of pressure on it to get that, get that, get him all worked up, get him really kind of mad. Um, so what I'm doing now is bringing him down and then testing the boundaries to see if there was improvement. 